I hear us. You don't think so? Uh, I think so. They will. They'll, yes. It'll be fine. You think they'll hear us? It'll be fine. I'll talk loud. And then um, somebody else can be like telling you guys what the comments are saying live through somebody else's phone. Or you guys can... What does that phone? Yeah, just put on a... Put on this a is pretty true. And so I wonder if this is working. Do you get my phone? I see zero viewers, so I wonder if it's it even is. working. I just gotta... Let it go, let it go from Frozen. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Debbie okay. Downer. Dude, Debbie Downer has commented, hope you aren't stressing, it's all good first time. That's very uncharacteristic of Debbie Downer. Oh, I'm a very non goodness. Debbie Downer. Alright, is this okay? Uh, oh my gosh. Well. I can read you guys the comments from like. Yeah, morning. Chuck said, pretty sure wi your Wi Fi has COVID. <laughs> Our Wi Fi definitely has the virus. Uh, wait, wait, turn, turn it that way. A little back. And more. And perfect. Perfect, perfect. Can you guys want to open it? Well, let's give it a minute. Let's let more than 13 people get in here. There's 25 now. Oh, look at that. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to take a, a, a piss real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Well, I'm going to man these comment sections. Kayla, how are you doing? I'm doing okay, buddy. What are, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so many people have asked, Kaylin, why have you not been on a video yet? What do you say to that? And he's a jerk. I've no, got it. That's what she no, said. No, the we're, problem we're. is I either, I already know the songs that like Andy wants to show me, or he shows me the songs that he already reacts to, so it's hard to find a happy medium unless we both... What are your favorite songs from the channel that Andy has played a lot with you? Um, I like the Van Halen song. Mean Street? Ain't, um, Ain't Talking About Love. Mm, very solid song. Um, just as a song that like I would listen to like whenever. Good but I mean, it's a good song. In terms of just like the best song that he's shown me from like his reactions, it's like echoes because of the fact that that just takes you in a trance. Cheers. So, all right, Kaylin, not that I, I don't want you sitting here, but I've got some questions for Andy's dad. Sure. So if you, if you guys want to switch. What are we doing now? What? Well, I've got some questions for you. Oh, okay. Some questions from them. This is very important right. because they've asked these things. Okay. So, many people have asked, what horrible, despicable father <laughs> would deprive his child of such Ooh. great music? Oh, God. That's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It has to do with my generation, really, like exactly when I came into music. So, I came into music kind of after classic rock, so it was more influenced by 80s. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, that uh, was pretty much it. Sure. Isolated 90s, um, like the grunge stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, not as much 70s. Yeah. So, ba yeah. Basically, guys, his, his stepdaddy liked classic rock, so he didn't like classic rock. That's the moral of the story. He really did, yeah. Stepdaddy was, was kind you know, of rebelling against him, and he liked classic rock, which is like, it's, it's kind of like an oxymoron. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense, right? Because my stepdad was, uh, was also um, rebelling against the system, but, you know. I'm going to get to step that. So. Oh. Somebody said shot not tight enough. Should we move it forward? Shot not tight enough? Like, oh, sure. Yeah, we can keep it nice and loose. Okay. It can be, it can be tilted a little Listen, bit. Listen, you don't understand how many freaking packages we have. If you understood that, if you understood how many packages we have, you'd be like, all right, move the shot back. That's true. Somebody said you guys sound like you're transmitting through a tin can. Well, oh, that's dude. better than an aluminum can. Everyone knows tin is better for reception. Is she tight enough? <laughs> oh, wow. You're referring to Andy or the dog? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I got these all day. Okay. Cold beers in. So, good. so is the sound okay? Like, can you guys hear us? It might be a little tin canny, but can you can you effing hear what we're saying? Is that is that legit? Turn, so turn the lamp on. You gotta grab that. Get that thing. I will pass the guys packages. Sit the yes, down. You know, I don't know if that helped at all. Somebody said that like they knew. I don't know if that's it helped, but if it helped, cool. Uh, so I think we're just gonna start doing packages. Okay, start now. Me. Michael Carr said, "Michael Carr is awesome." I, I dig you in every stream we have. <laughs> all right, all good. Let's do it. Which package would you like? Just to pass some stuff. It's Christmas. Here's one for you. Oh, no, okay. you want for you. All right, I'm gonna open this one first. Where's it from? You, you just say uh, it doesn't have it on here, but I'll, it might have it inside. Ah, oh, so much stuff. The CD? Try slow mode, somebody said. 
Montrose. This is, doesn't say who it's from, but it's Montrose, remastered and reloaded collector's edition. I don't know at, about this at all. Yeah, if it's good, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> all right, Andy. So this is from Dave, and it looks like a shirt or shirts? Two shirts. So it says, Noblesville Adult Swim Team Inc. 2020 Quarantine Travel Team. What? <laughs> we got some swim team shirts? <laughs> no way! So, you have to put them on now. Oh, they can't even see it. It's like backwards and shit. Man. You put them on no, on. they can see it. No, it's like backwards on the camera, you know what I'm saying? We'll take photos of this at the end. Yeah, you, you guys will see what it says, but in interesting stuff. Okay. Damn, nice. So, oh, all right. Oh, these are the records. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, all right. Hopefully this says who it's from, because I like the album. Pass everything to, like, play in, them, in that direction, the open stuff. Oh, uh, okay. So it does, again, does not say who it's from, but it's the Yes album. Oh shit! Facts, bro. What have we heard from this? We have, like two songs: Starship Trooper. Yep. And is that it? I think so. I think we've we've at least done Starship Trooper and maybe one other one. I don't remember though. Oh, I think we only just wow. I think we just done one song. That's a crazy. Album. So we we got from the the G Gales band Bloodshot. Never heard of that band at all. This record's been used. We'll check it out. This, this guy's like smoking a doobie on the back of this cover. With some long ass hair. That's cool, I guess. He's got style. <laughs> so, Kaylin, come say hi, Kaylin. Kaylin is going to be our uh, present girl. In a way. Ooh, alright. Hopefully, this has. Cool. Send them a thank you. This is you know not from it. Give me all the like letters and cards. Okay, alright. A and A. Please view this together. You're going to love it. Making of Asia, Steely Dan, S tier, really. My favorite band, extremely memorable lyrics. Just jazzy, magic, and joy from Kelly. And it is the aforementioned How They Made the Steely Dan Asia record. That seems cool as hell, dude. Yeah, so we'll do a reaction to that. Peg is all for Oh, man, Peg slaps. And so, I, I didn't see a name for this, but somebody sent us Burt Sugarman's The Midnight Special. Something looking like that. There's a note that says... You need to get. You need to see some artists in their prime to get the feel and ambience of what it was like. This show, way, way before MTV, the only way to see them, other than in the album cover, from Kelly Brown. Oh my goodness, dude! She sent us tons of messages on like Facebook and things like that. So we'll definitely check this out. Also, just so you guys know, we read almost all of those. If we don't get back to you, it's just because we have a flooded DM. Uh, we're pretty much the equivalent of like a hot Instagram girl when it comes to people like who are looking for music reactions. Oh, this looks like a used book, which is honestly kind of cool. We need to get a, a bookshelf, guys. Wow. We set up, we'll, we'll have some kind of bookshelf. Are you ready for the country? Elvis, Dylan, Parsons, and the Roots of Country Rock. I would love to read this. Wow, this is awesome. I wonder who it's from. Did it say? It does not. You guys gotta send it like your something else in here so we can say thanks. Maybe it's on the inside of the book. Actually, I looked at the inside of the book and see it. So this package, as soon as you open up the flaps, I see a note that's been printed out in a super pretty font that says, "Thanks for all the entertainment while we are all quarantined. Enjoy all your videos. Keep up the good work." And in close is a special thank you for both of you. Hope you enjoy chat. Ooh, that's what it's, it's, it's a nice. It's a nice font too. It looks really pretty, and I don't know what's in here. Find out. Ooh! A duck. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me see. I don't it's think it's a duck. Oh, it's a candle. <laughs> Dude. <Damn. laughs> it's a candle. Holy shit. Damn, it kind of smells like Dr. Pepper, too. I want to Warning, it. don't drink. <laughs> Warning, don't drink. Wow. Wow. So it's like, it's like a candle that's right. disguised in a Dr. Pepper can? Yeah. So if you're trying to like sneak an illegal, care, uh, an illegal candle onto an airport, ah. oh. oh, you're fucking with me! Ooh. I fucking love pistachios, dude. Oh, 
Show it to you when it's closer. Dude, it's a giant box of pistachios. It's just a bunch of pistachios. <laughs> Damn, that rips so hard. Did you see that? Dude, pistachios are awesome. They're bro. my favorite nuts. Wait, are you serious? A little bit of work. They're, they're on tier with cashews. I thought we had something. It's cashews. <gasps> okay, okay, it's, okay. But I think a little bit of work, dude, it's, it's like... It makes it all the more sweet, you know? Yeah. Like having to like pick a rose and get past the thorns. Dude, that's what's up, man. So 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 this says, um, it has like a like a letter on the package, on the on the back from Patrick. It says, thought you might oh enjoy gosh. some some 45s for a change. Hope you like them all, Patrick. Before you go, what's up? Lightmate said, Alex, I think you're about to get a ton of pistachios. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Dude, and holy shit. I will shout out anyone who sent me the stats. So this is like a bunch of like 45s, like little records. So maybe we'll have to get like a record player that can play some of these, but I almost don't recognize any of these band names. So e either way, some record player that will play 45s, we will get that. But thank you so much, Patrick, for all these little yeah. records. That's that's cool. Ours that's cool as hell. Is, it, is Jack on you? Yeah, that's a little, little bit of cuddles. Wow, rock and roll playing cards. What are these? Dude, I feel like I'm getting married, and we're just getting like stuff on like your Amazon shopping list. Oh, seems like... oh my oh, gosh! No. Beatles! Oh, this is so cool! Rock and roll couple, uh, uh, like, coasters. Coasters, yeah. Rock and roll coasters, dude. It's got the Beatles, it's got Queen, Michael Jackson, bro, Pink Floyd. Period. Andy. Oh my god, dude. Elvis and Elton John. Wait, so what, what is that? Rock and roll. They're tiny. Yeah, they're for, they're for couples. They're coasters. Coasters. Oh, shit. That's right, cool, cool as hell. <laughs> this is from Just just for Fun and to Brighten Your Day from a super fan. You are awesome. I wish you would have wrote your name. I would have shouted you out. What a killer, what a killer person. And so, a game with cards. So this stuff is from um, Rev, and it says, it says, Nicole. dudes, comma, Dudes! Exclamation mark, dash, like it's from dude. So a dude that's saying dudes, dudes. I think he's making a reference to how much we say dude in our videos, which, yeah. honestly, fair yeah. enough. We say dude a lot. But in here, he's got porcupine tree signified disc two, porcupine tree signified oh. disc one, and there is... Is this cash? There's $120 in cash in here. Um, I think I read a message from you saying that you were gonna give us porcupine and in whiskey money. So either way, holy shit, you did not have to do that. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Like, did not expect. I want you to know. You right now, guys. My uncle Dennis every year for Christmas would give me five dollars. So that's way better than that. <laughs> <laughs> By definition, you are better than Uncle Dennis. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank, thank you so much, Rev. All right, my turn. Yep. Well, first, hold on. Should we stop? You guys want to ask me questions? Oh, that's been like a speed round of I like know. Christmas, you know. Dude, are we your sugar daddies now? No, we like to be our own sugar daddies. But if you want to send us tasteful, nice gifts, we're never opposed. We will produce our own value. But anything you guys send is just extra sauce. Yeah. Extra sauce. Don't you guys ever stop saying, dude, that? <laughs> All right. Somebody said, keep going. All right. Ooh, the Tommy movie. Ooh, the who? Oh, I think, oh, and this is from somebody, so I can read it. Oh, thank you. A cast of characters, and this is going to blow your mind. And Elton sure. John plays the pinball wizard. Tina Turner plays the acid queen. It's wild. Keith, Keith Moon is the pervert Uncle Ernie. Huh, from Kelly Brown. Is it the same Kelly? Same Kelly. Same exact Dude, Kelly. What Multiple if, things. What an awesome That thing. is so sweet. So I did not see a name on this. And I actually don't even see a band name on this. All I see is like this clown looking fucking thing. What? So I, I don't know what this is, guys. Hey, tell us in the chat what I'm If you guys know what that is, go ahead and let us know, but holy shit. <laughs> Babe, ready? Yes. Ooh. Alright. Ooh, these are all wrapped nicely. Okay. Wow, all right, this is a lot of something. Okay, so these are, man, these are all like mixtapes. Like somebody made us a bunch of mixtapes. Like this one's got some SRV on it, Blue Oyster Cult, Eric Johnson, Funkadelic, Gaslight Anthem, Genesis. I feel like I'm trying to be like taken to prom, my high school prom, you know? 
Like yeah. somebody's trying to serenade me, like throwing rocks outside my window with a boom box. Like, hey, I brought you this mixtape. Wow, this is so sweet. We're gonna have to go through all these and put them on like a record shelf. Absolutely, dude. So, so this is like, it looks like a formal letter styling almost from this guy named um, um, David. It's like, hi, gents. Well, I'm hoping I'll be your first letter from some old dude. All, old is all capitalized. Old dude in England who found your videos and enjoy them V much. So very much. Don't use social media um, myself, so that stuff means nothing to me. Damn, but I can strange. still find you on YouTube and will keep watching. So, you have done some stuff, some great stuff, no doubt, but it's all pretty big bands, nothing particularly obscure. So here are some things you will never find listed in your comments ever. So I'll be very interested to see what you think. I won't say these are my favorite six tracks of all time, and that's not why I picked them, but there are six tracks everybody should hear at least once. And then he names them out, and he gave us a CD, and he signed his name on the bottom. Either way, it has like his email, his name. it looks like a work email, basically. Damn. So very official. Thank you so much, David. Appreciate you. Had a cool last signature. Yeah. You ready? Somebody said the clown thing is from Grateful Dead. The Ooh. clown thing is from Grateful Dead. We've yeah. been meaning to hit alive. Grateful Dead for a long time. Grateful Dead is actually on a poll that's coming up pretty soon, so that's cool stuff. All right, Mikey said, when are you coming to Scotland for a road trip? Bring the whole family. Uh, we want to do a Scotland trip at some point. It will, it'll probably just be me and Annie doing it, or maybe like Kaylin coming along or something. I will be coming, Mikey. Kaylin will come along. And we'll figure something out like that. Alright, so here's a letter. Such nice handwriting. Hello, Alex and Andy. Love it when they put my name first. Hey, anyone that puts my name first is an automatic winner. I just want you to know that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I would make a CD for you compiling this and, uh, and including some songs I know you like. You will notice... Long Train Coming is the third song on the list. Yes, man! <laughs> yes! I love that song! I put on other songs that are some of my favorites that, uh, that I've wanted to expose you to and probably won't be suggested by a large number of the audience members. Dang, dude. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Austin. Thank you so much. Oh! And it says camping trip, bro. Camping trip? Oh We my need to make God. a playlist, like a camping trip playlist, like a road trip playlist. We need some playlists for these guys. We do need that. So this is from... Um, this is going somewhere special. So this is from Rocky. Not the boxer, but nonetheless, the name is Rocky, right? And it is a, a Sheely Fairchild Ruby's Money album CD, I think. If you guys know who that is, y'all know who that is. Either way, we might check it out. Probably will, in, in the car. Here, pass it to him. Play. That seems cool. Oh, I think I know who this is from. This is from Michael. Alright. Oh, so. I think this is... A cowbell? A cowbell? No way. Guys, I swear, we will do something cool involving this effing cowbell. At something some cool. Oh you have to my do god. Grand Funk Railroad. Oh god. <laughs> We're an American band. Oh my gosh, and it's got even like a little thing on it. Alright guys, tell me if this is not too loud and annoying. Alright, it's kind of loud. That sounds pretty loud. <laughs> it's a cowbell. We will use that. I do not see a name on this, but I recall. Um, a good friend of ours, Michael, sending us a... He said he sent us a poster. I'm going to... Wow, a blacklight poster. I'm going to try and open it real quick. Go ahead, and, go ahead and give Alex his next thing. All right. While he's opening that, I'm going to read this. It's open. Hold up. I'm not going to read this. Wow. Holy crap. I don't exactly see what this is. That's upside down. Some cool-ass, some cool-ass-ish. I don't know if it's upside down. No, this is upside down. This is the right way. Either way... You hang this in a dark room, it's now a much more impressive dark room. And that's a fact. It's a much more impressive dark room. <laughs> you don't think so? I think you're right. It was just, I love the way you describe things. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Andy and Alex. This video starts out as a quick history lesson. Video starts out? Oh, it's probably because it's too close. I was like, this is paper, bruh. <laughs> Alright. This video starts out as a quick history lesson and then... Uh, bassist Roger Glover brings you into the studio and as a track-by-track run-through you'll enjoy his childlike enthusiasm I love your channel and wish you the best of luck Cameron from Providence, Rhode Island Nice! Wow. Oh, I want to find out what the movie right. is called Oh, it's Deep Purple! Deep Purple? Yeah! That's, That's a wrap so well. Oh my god, dude. 
And by well, I mean really. So it's a classic album. So it's Machine Head. It'll go through the classic album. Oh the shit, album. dude. That's lit. What we've heard from Machine Head so far has been just like Phenomenal. quintessential shit, man. I do not see a name on this, but let's unveil it. Stevie Ray Vaughan in Double Trouble live at the El Macambo. Can I see it? Yes, you can. It's like it looks like this, guys. So SRV is one of my favorite guitarists of all time. I have watched a bunch of his videos, but I don't know if I've seen this one. Like, I don't know which ones I've seen because I only saw them when I was really little. Mm -hmm. My stepdad bought a like, like a big collection of his like live performances on like DVD, and I don't remember the concerts they were from. I just remember watching it and being like stunned because there were times he would like be like, "Oh, the guitar's out of tune," so he'd be in the middle of a solo and tuning his guitar. Like that's right, and then get back to playing. Or a string would bust in the middle of a solo, and he'd be like, "I'll just go around it." Like you don't even notice. It's that's crazy. so crazy. Cool. Alright. You know that's from? Did it say or no? No. No, not in the front. No worries, bro. Uh, Arizona Gunslinger Pepper Sauce Variety Pack. Woo! What? So I... Wait, what is that? I like hot sauce. I don't know... Alright. Hey, the Chipotle Habanero is smoky. I've been using this sauce 16 years, and I thought I would get you into this sampler. Could I suggest I'm on Fire by Van Halen? Another gem from BH1, Kelly Brown. Dang. Kelly Brown, that's three things. That's crazy. Dang, Kelly. Okay, so I love hot sauce. I don't know what your thought on hot sauce is. I like hot sauce. But I'm a fan. So thank you very much. That sounds cool as hell. That was cool. So this stuff is from Donald. And it looks like there's like a letter in a case that has something in it, technology based. Let's read the letter real quick to find out what this is about. Okay, it says, guys, what you hold in your hands is my current musical collection collected over the decades from vinyl to tape to compact disc to hard drive. It's the music that inspires me, makes me sing, makes me weep, makes me rage, makes me alive in, the, in every best possible way. My collection is ever growing, or, or, or is always growing, and it seems your taste in musicianship will continue to grow. Thanks for what you do, thanks for who you are, keep rocking, mother effers, Don. And it's like a hard drive with a bunch of music, it seems. Hey, That's awesome. David, uh, Dave Opplinger said, hey, there was a letter included in my package, not sure how you missed it. If, if we didn't read it on stream, we will definitely go back through this, and if there's any letters we'll miss... We'll uh, definitely find it. We'll read them, so just know it's just kind of going fast, but we'll read them if we miss anything. Sorry about that, man. Oh, wow. Brian McGarry said, Alex, favorite state of matter, solid, liquid, gas, or plasma? I think plasma, because only I, did, I didn't hear about it until I was like 12, and, and it blew my mind. It was like, what else are you lying about? <laughs> I remember one time, I was in like, I think like the fourth or fifth grade or some shit like that, and then like, class, what are, the what are the three states of matter? And I raised my hand, I was like, actually... There's four states of matter. You're missing plasma. The teacher was like, what is plasma? I was like, I don't know. What's the state of matter? You're missing it. Yeah. There's also more than four. So it's, sure. it's frustrating because it's like, there are three states of matter. My bad. There are four states of matter. My bad. There's some other ones. Don't worry about it. It's hard to say because we're not really sure how many, but there's some. So either way. It's like, it's like don't trip too hard about it, you know? Don't trip too hard. There's three. Um, okay, so this is... Okay, two things. This is from Susan L. Lacer. Years ago, someone told me this was the best Stones album. High praise. Many years later, I finally agreed. And I agreed enough that I thought each of you should own this CD. Take care. Dude, she Aww. bought us two copies. What is it, the Stones? So the sweet. Stones. Wow, that's really freaking cool, dude. I don't know what role, uh, Exile on Main Street is looks like the album. Wow. Awesome, dude. So Exile on Main Street. Rolling Stones is dope. Oh, this is so, so cute. So this is um, some incense, and it's called Creativity. All right. So some Creativity incense. It says, um, Ambience. Uh, I get in the vibe for certain songs. I'm, I'm looking forward to your Fleetwood Mac hypnotize and find your way back. Jefferson Starship. Love your show, guys, from Kelly Brown. All right, Kelly. Holy crap. Jeez. Out of this, go, going over, oh, over, man. Craziness. Okay, thank so you, thank you so much. This is legit the cutest little letter I've ever seen. It's like the it's not even the size of my phone. Like my phone goes on like an extra this much. That's cute, dude. That's tiny. So this is from Germany, bro. From Germany? This is from Germany. 
Andreas Glacel. I don't know how to say German names, but that's, that's the best I can do. Holy cow. All right. What are we getting sent from Germany? This is so delicate to open. Are the letters this small in Germany all the time? <laughs> is this just like a thing that Americans have way too oversized letters? Americans are a little over the top in a lot of ways. Yeah, this might just be something we need to switch to small letters. What if it's acid? I hope not. <laughs> Greetings from your Patreon, Andres. Oh, it's a thumb drive. So it's... You're not going to tell us what's on there? Porn. It's definitely porn. It's definitely porn. People, definitely keep, German people porn. keep sending us porn, man. Yeah. Is it like that, that German dungeon porn type thing? Probably. Probably. All right. Well, it's cute. Okay, so now uh, we'll you guys have a choice. So you have a choice? You can choose this one or this one. That one. You want this one? Um, I want Andy to have that one. Okay. 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 Uh, because I want it, and then I was like, you know what? I want to be sweet. That's the one I want, but I think you're really nice to me, so I want you to you're, have that. You're a nice guy, Alex. But I want to open Well, no, yeah, I just opened mine. You got yours. All right. A bunch of stuff. Oh, my gosh. We got packing stuff. There's so there's a letter. I'm, I'm going to read the letter first so I have context of what's in here. Oh my goodness. You're going to ruin the surprise? Oh, somebody said you could start a porn channel reaction. I don't think that would fly on YouTube. <laughs> also, I wouldn't want to do that with you. <laughs> Dear ANA, I've been waiting to send this for a while now. The liquor store is 90 miles road trip as well as FedEx. I've got to make it count. It's the letter that has been the hard part. So much to say. I'm leaving lots out so to get it done. Uh, these records are in rough shape. I have traveled thousands of miles like, like, of, like with them with me. I choose them for the art. Twenty ZZ Top for the center field. Jameis for the R. Crumbum cover art. She's the top in hair field. Not her band so much, just her crybaby for a good choice. The reason I first checked you guys out was because you were listening to Aqualung. Here is Thick as a Brick, a very interesting cover. There is a live version of the song. Um, Ian Anderson, 24 years old, prancing on about the stage in tights. Very enjoyable. Please check out some funk. Okay, awesome stuff. And then there's a bunch of like little side tiny notes. I was going to make you guys cookies, speak, uh, speak of whiskey, bourbon versus scotch, Irish. But this might never go out. That is so such an awesome little letter. There's like little notes all around it. I gotta be honest. I love when people send us notes like that, where it's like they're it's really them having a conversation with us. I, I don't know. It's my favorite thing when somebody really appreciates like some of the content we put out. It really makes me happy. P.S. So, thank you. Love Jamie, your little brother. Ben, I'll tell him. Awesome, awesome. Thank. Oh, oh, there's also more stuff in here. Let me see what's actually in here. So we got a trash bag. Nice. I can take up the trash. So open. <laughs> Uh, somebody said, what has surprised you the most about your YouTube channel? How, surprised us how the most is definitely how big it got, slash how much just like love and support and just awesome vibes we've gotten from you guys. You know what I'll say to add to that? It's not necessarily how big it got, because there are channels that, that on paper are bigger, but it's the community that we have, I think is nuts. We talk, so for those of you who don't know, I don't know if we've really talked about it, maybe we'll do it in a video in the future. We've been doing a new routine where we both get up super early in the morning, we've been working out. Uh, and, and then we go on a morning walk separately. We, we live far away, like 30 minutes away, and we get on the phone with each other and we talk, and we talk about what are our goals for the day, what do we want to accomplish, but then also about the channel. We have every morning 30 minutes where we talk about the channel and basically our goals with it. And every time we get on there, we're so surprised at the community we fostered, because you know what? There are channels that are like 10 times our size that don't have a half of the community that we have, and it's really awesome. Because more than the views or the people that come up, it's having like a, a giant family on YouTube that's just amazing. Bunch of friends. Facts. Facts, dude. So we have some Writer's Tears um, Double Oak Irish Whiskey. I've never seen this before, but I'm definitely down to try it. Kayla, can I see that? Seems very cool. Yeah, check it out, man. Will you go and grab us a glass? Let's try this on stream. Yeah. We have Best Whiskey Stones. Chilling your drink without diluting. So this chills your drink without adding water to Dang, it. Dang, that's nice. That's so cool. Wow. Clean the stones, put in the freezer for four to five hours, serve three stones to chill the drink without getting without watering it down. 
That's really cool, dude. So, also for those who have asked, this is sealed. So, now it's not sealed, but it was sealed. Writer's tier. Okay, there's more, there's more stuff in here, so I'm gonna keep opening it real quick, because there's a bunch of shit in here. That's awesome. Mm. Oh, my oh God. what is that? This is probably the fanciest bottle I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen one this of This is fancy. the original gold bar made in America, double cast, straight bourbon whiskey finished in the wine casks. I've never seen something like this, but it looks super freaking cool. I'm going to let Alex look at it because he knows whiskey more than I do. I don't know it that well, but I know it a little bit. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. That look, I almost don't even want to open it. I almost it don't want to so open it. We will drink it. But holy jeez. You just want to try it or you want a whole glass? No, that's... Was that your version of trying it? Yeah. Show that to the camera. She thinks this is trying it and goes, do you want an actual whole glass? Fair, fair enough, though. Fair enough. You got a good chip, bro. We can drink that. You got a good chip. Wow. So we have a couple albums from here. We have... Cheap Thrills. I don't know what exactly that's from. Thank you very much, Gil. I'm not 100% sure. You guys will probably know, but we do not know. So there's that album. Oh, give us Trace Amigos oh. from ZZ Top. And yes. this this looks like an original vinyl. Like this looks like it's been used a little bit. A little bit. Wow, that's super cool, man. Chris, uh, come here. Check out this whiskey that we got. Super there. cool. Oh, fancy whiskey. Step it out for the yeah, you're good, man. And we also got Thick as a Brick from Jethro Tull. Oh, wow. We should definitely oh, check wow. out more Jethro Tull. We've actually had a video coming nice, up. Man. Bumble in the Jungle coming I'm up for you guys from Jethro Tull. For sure. Thick as a Brick. Nice. That's awesome. Let's get like a whole freaking like newspaper here. in here. Take over my phone. If you see any cool comments, let me know. So, Chris will be my uh, comment translator. Come sit here. I'll be the comment mediator. So, let's try this whiskey out. Yeah, we're going to try this whiskey out. Cheers. Cheers to you, my man. Oh, uh, well, hold on, hold on. Before we do it, I have a Polish friend, and I'm not only African, but I'm also Polish. My friend Benedict, shouting him out. Uh, every time we drink, he tells me to say, like, the cheers, and then say, Nostrovia, and hit the... Are you ready? Yeah, right? so do it. Nostrovia. 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 Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that Alex's girlfriend? That's a good question. That is not bad at all. Kaylin's girlfriend. Or Kaylin's girlfriend. That is Kaylin's girlfriend. <laughs> Andy's girlfriend. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, ready, babe? Uh, he needs to open his. Oh, oh yeah, open your thing. That was all like right. a five part, like, gift. That was a lot. Let me ask you, Andy. What is a lighting source synonymous with psychedelic rock and roll? A lighting source? Yeah. Synonymous with, with rock and roll? Like, like a. Psychedelic rock and roll. Like a lava lamp type thing? Like a lava lamp type thing. Wow, you get that right. I lied. I, guys, listen, listen, listen. I definitely peaked. I saw the okay. lava lamp. I saw the lava lamp. <laughs> Dang, dude. We, I don't know if I've ever owned a lava lamp. That is so cool. That's actually awesome. That might be a part of something. Here, I got a lava this. lamp? Bro, guess who it's from? Holly Brown? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. She sent, she sent us messages saying, like, listen, guys, you need some more ambiance. I'm going to send you all some shit. Jack, what are you coming over here for? Dude, dude? this dog is all pet? about YouTube. Dude, he was I'm made to, to be pet, on the big screen. Yeah. Pets. Hey, pets. Who is your favorite female vocalist? Favorite female vocalist. Dude, so far, it's that it's Stevie Nicks. It at the Stevie moment. Nicks. Only cause like you hear her voice and you fall into her trance and yeah. you, once you come out, like you come out and then you realize yeah. you were in trance. And it's just Bro. like and she's kinda she's pretty attractive, so it's Dude. kinda who cool gets to open Lisa's package. I wanna open Lisa's package. You can open it, man. Can I? No worries. All right. Okay, well, so then, then you gotta Andy, Jack. Call Andy goes first. Andy, here you go. Come on, Jack. And then I'll, I'll give you Lisa's package after this. Okay. I'll Come here. Hold it. Hey, Jack. He's so cute. Wow. Right? Dude, Jack is such a sweet dog, dude. He cuddles all the time. Wait, it's your turn, Andy. Andy, cool cuddles. So this is from K. K. Kenny. It looks like. There's multiple things in here. Okay, I'm just gonna start pulling the things out. This is wrapped in something. Um, oh my gosh, dude, that's so cool, dude. It's like a hippie van, like like a double, actually a double bus, oh, and it says the Beatles. I'm gonna bring it up to you guys. The Beatles. That's cool as hell. Like one of the London double deckers. So when I was in London with my mom in December, we actually rode some of those, and so cool. I don't understand why we don't have double decker buses everywhere. 
Okay, we've also got this thing called Beatles Platts. Yeah, that. Oh, wait, 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 stop. He doesn't ask the best band of Tallahassee. I'm pretty sure it isn't. Uh, Actually, Calvin Boaz asked the best band of Tallahassee. Calvin Boaz asked the best band of Tallahassee. I am fairly certain. I could be wrong. I think Tom Petty is from Tallahassee. Is he? I, I'm, I know he's from Florida. I think he is either from Gainesville or Tallahassee. We definitely can check out the song from Tom Petty and Stephen Nicks to the song Heartbreaker or something. Either way, they want it, so at some point it'll come. Okay. Andy, favorite programming language? So, so here's the thing. I learned like a couple different languages to start off with, and I did C++, and I fell in love with C++. But at my internship, I've been utilizing a lot of Python, and Python is abstracted at a higher level to where you're able to do much more complicated things, but much more simply. So, so either C++, Python, it just depends on the day, you know, like what, what, what the task is. But either one, C++, Python, either one's good. We got, he, so Kenny sent us a KISS album, that one, sent us In the Heart of the Young, Ooh, I don't even know what this says, Winger, something like that, you guys will know what this is. Probably Winger, they, I feel like, Winger, is that, a, is that a band? I don't know, but I, if there's something spelled like that, I assume they tried to misspell things in the 80s. We also got the, the Best of Edwin McCain, oh my god, I know a country song that he did. Oh, I forgot what song it is. I, I know it's in popular movies. I know it's in movies. Fair enough. <laughs> Yo, straight up, I am definitely not an English major. You try to get me to spell something, I do not got your back at Dude, all. He's like W I N G E R. <laughs> Winder. Winder. <laughs> any any math you can you can imagine, I could probably do it. But in terms of like a spelling bee, I definitely do uh, not have your back. Oh, you want to go for that, bro? I do not want to try and spell anything. Oh, I was saying math wise. <laughs> Man, no. <laughs> I was going to say that. I could imagine. Okay, so considering this, I'm saying that. Is there any things you've done in the past semester? I do not want to touch any of it, bro. Tony said, uh, What languages do you speak, Alex? Uh, I speak English decently. Um, I know very few sayings in French, even fewer in Arabic. My dad, when uh, it's a beautiful language, when I. When I would go to bed, my dad would say, Ergud, which was like, good night, sweet child. And it sounds super angry. But I do want to learn more Arabic, want to learn more French. Uh, I know how to say my name and basic stuff. Tundra like his own is like mowing the grass. Uh, you know more than I do. But yeah, so I want to know more, but basically just English. I want to learn a lot more. So if people have tips, shoot me tips. So there's a little girl here that says, Annie and Alex, just a hodgepodge of different things you might like. Been watching your reactions, great to see you kids, you young kids. Listen, real quick, the, the preferred terminology is gents. All right. We like to call it gents. Gents. But if you want to call us kids, fair enough. Fair enough. Appreciate good music from the 60s, 70s, slash 80s. Big fan of your show, some records, CDs. Not sure you have a CD player. We definitely have a CD player in our car. We will definitely check the stuff out. Records, Beatles stuff, enjoy. Hope you will start displaying the items in your show soon. So we definitely have the new shed. We're going to plan on hanging some of the stuff that you guys send us in the new setup. So and remember, absolutely, we're going to put it on Instagram right after this. For the people on Instagram, if you're not already on there, shoot us a message on some form of social media or Patreon. We'll send you it if you can't get on Instagram. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so there's also a shit ton of records in here. We have, oh, damn, dude. Sabotage from Black Sabbath. Oh, I love how on the gosh. back of that, look at the back of that, it's, it's, like, it's backwards. Nice. Wow. And this looks like an original record, so that's holy insane. shit. Love Black Sabbath. One of the one of the first bands that got covered on the channel. So that's awesome. Is it we Toys have in the Attic? Aerosmith. Toys in the Attic. Toys in the Attic. Looks wow. also like an original record. It's been used for I've sure. Heard a couple of songs. Of that's that awesome. We have Queen. I'm not sure what, which album is this. Y'all know. I think it's Queen One. Queen Two. I have no idea. Definitely, it looks like Queen One. Y'all, y'all let me know. Wow. Keep yourself alive. Doing all right. Yeah, this is Queen One, from what I remember right. Yep. Thank you so much. Yes, Holy crap. It's the first yeah. album, yeah. Yep, yeah, first album, absolutely. We have the, the Robin Thompson band, Two Bees, Please. Thank you so much. Wow. We have Led Zeppelin. Look at that. Wow. One of my favorite bands of all this time. This is like Led Zeppelin 1, Good Times, Bad Times. Maybe it's Led Zeppelin 1. Wow. Yeah, self-titled Led wow. Zeppelin 1. Holy crap. This is awesome, dude. That's awesome. We'll have to do like a vinyl listening of that one. Amazing. Holy crap. Thank right. you guys. Okay. So Lisa, one of our great friends from the channel. We've talked to her a bunch. She's one of our favorite people from the channel. Um, 
guess we're just going to go. She sent us a couple messages about this. She sent me an Instagram message that said, Hey guys, I sent you an email regarding the package I sent. There's a scavenger hunt type thing involved, so don't read the email. I, I started, I, I put a star so I can look it up later, but I did not read it. Alright, this is yours. What? There's a lot in here, dude. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. There's a lot in she here. She told me she put a lot of time and thought into this. She, it's, it's a package. It's apparently like a scavenger hunt. Right? Okay. I don't even know where to start, dude. We need an actual okay. turntable stand. Okay, I Hold almost on. don't even want to, like, I don't know if this. we can, I don't, I think we might just have to do this privately. Because it's like, what could this be? Let's read the email. So, oh my goodness. I'm going to give this to you. Lisa, we will have to just do this another time. Okay, so this is like a, a thing that she sent us an email, like a whole scavenger hunt. So, something like involving a bunch of cute, awesome stuff. We will do this like privately, we'll, and we'll send oh you a message gosh. regarding it. But thank you so much. The Beatles guitar, so learn all the Beatles wow. guitar stuff. Holy cow. Oh yeah, I'll hand this to you, Kevin, because that is getting big. And then wow. blues rock, since you love your blues licks. Oh yeah, dude. This is Wow. All right. We will do the scavenger hunt. Maybe we'll do a video on it. If it's cool enough, we'll do a video on it. <laughs> if it's just cool enough but also fun, we might just do it privately. I don't know. <laughs> figure it out. We'll, we'll figure out the, the deal. So there's a couple more packages. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, Alex, here's one from Hey Gringo. I'm interested in this one, too. How long did it take you to grow the stash? Oh, how long did it take me to grow the stash? Uh, it kind of just got this length. Probably in like six months, kept that way. I had a girlfriend that wanted me to shave it at one point, and I shaved it, and she was like, I like the sash better. And I was like, okay, sure. So then I just, I've just kept it ever since then. But I mean, pretty much just been keeping it. I can't really see you without the stash at this point. Yeah, I, I like, like the stash. stash. I think the stash, the stash is pretty hard. All right, so, so this is from someone named Sharon, and, and I open it, and it says, there's a little letter that says, welcome to your COVID quarantine survival kit and it's like a that that's the little note on a letter i fucking hope it's cashews or pistachios <laughs> so let's open the letter real quick um happy first birthday annie and alex keep shaving the what what does that say i can't read man you are not an english major i'm definitely not an english major guys what did you think it said shaving shaving the love it yeah sharing the love keep <laughs> sharing the love <laughs> shaving that the love. makes so much more sense that makes so much more sense. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's been great um, to watch your channel grow and to see you expanding your musical horizons. I hope the items in this um, box bring you as much joy as you bring to us all. Your friend in Santa Fe, uh, Sheila, per pronounced Sharon? Wow. Okay. Tell me if that's correct, the pronunciation. Um, I can't pronounce things, so let me know. I mean, Sharon, yeah, Sharon. So it's, we, it's literally it's literally sounded out for you on the paper. Okay, listen, man. <laughs> I see the letters, you know, I, I speak it, but like, if it sounds right, I, I never know until I see the reactions of the people in front of me. You know what I mean? Right. So we have two little packages of like masks. Perfect. So now you will never walk out of the house, you know, not not prepared. I will definitely walk to my mailbox without a mask, um, but I live in the country, so. Which um, probably why the Wi-Fi sucks. There's a book here. I like books. There's a letter attached to it. You can thank me for this by doing a reaction to Bring It Home from Led Zeppelin 2, Smiley Face. Fucking and, great song. And this is the Led Zeppelin saga, Hammer of the Gods. And it's a book. And it's been read for sure. That looks so cool. This should be on your reading list, bro. I will probably do that very soon. So there's that. There's another thing of masks. Quarantine masks. There is... It looks like a, some more books. Let's see. We got Kaleidoscope Eyes, Psychedelic Rock from the 60s to the 90s. So a book disregarding, I guess, Psychedelic Rock that was relevant. I feel like that's you. All the that way. is my kind of book. I'm going to definitely check this out, 100%. And then also with that is San Francisco, The Psychedelic Music Trip, 1965 to 68. You guys will probably know what this is, potentially. That way. There you go. Psychedelic, it says. There's more stuff on here. Okay. CDs. Holy shit. Jeez. This is the Who Meaty Beaty Big and Bouncy. I don't know what that is exactly, but if the Who writes an album called Meaty Beaty Big and Bouncy, it's probably a great album. It sounds like a sexual assault charge. 
Yeah, and that's okay. Somebody said, oh, I'm wow. get you Jesus sandals, Alex. My girlfriend will love this. I'm in the house, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's been like a bunch of people like, someone get Alex shoes, please. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm in the house. That's you know fair. What I'm saying? I got flip-flops um, finally. That, that should cover it. My girlfriend will definitely love this. This is The Doors, an album. And she loves The Doors. She loves Jim Morrison, his nice charismatic voice, one I can never have, you know. Oh, it's all right. She's going to go grab that album now to stare and hit Jim Morrison's face. That, that's okay. We have um, 30 Years of Maximum R&B, The Who. I didn't know R&B and The Who could be in the same sentence, but maybe I just don't know my music. But fair, fair enough. I mean, uh, the point of our whole channel is that we don't know music, so I guess that's, that's so happening. true. But the whole point is we show up thinking we know music, and, and then we get humbled by how much we don't know about what we're listening that's to. That's kind of exactly You what know what I mean? Um, we have another The Doors record, Greatest Hits. So this is for you, babe. The Doors, there you go. She loves The Doors so much, you know. We got The Doors Live. So this is my girlfriend all again. Here you go. So thanks for getting her presents. <laughs> we have Jim, an American Prayer, Jim Morrison, music by The Doors. Dude, he had him shirtless on the back. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, that's something that. That'll do. Dude, there's so much stuff in here. There's like a couple more. Oh, like, wow. Okay. You guys should do an Instagram live opening Lisa's gift, but you have to read the email beforehand. She's okay, like, that's fair. We'll do that, Lisa. Holy shit. So this oh. looks like live footage from Pulse. Wow. Live. Holy shit, guys. Wow, it's even like holographic. Is that, is that the front? Is that actually holographic? Or was yeah, that, that, dude, that is, that is awesome. It's not holographic, but oh, just a it definitely has footage from all that. That is so cool. Okay, another little book. We have for Alex the poet. Damn, because you are a lyric slash songwriter. I love poetry, so that's great. So a Jim a Jim Morrison type of vibe. Wow. Damn. So all of his like poetry type no stuff. No way. So here you're gonna you're gonna learn about wordplay, bro. I'm gonna learn it from the. You master. thought you knew about songwriting? You're gonna learn something from that book, bro. And there's more book slash CD slash another note. So this is like a giant quote that says, Strange memories on this nervous night in Las Vegas. Five years later, six, it seems like a lifetime or at least a main era, the kind of peak that never comes again. San Francisco in the middle of the 60s was a very special time and a place to be a part of. Maybe it meant something, maybe not. In the long run, but no. No explanation, no mix of words or music or memories can touch the sense of knowing that you were there and alive in that corner of time and the world, whatever it meant. History is hard to know because of all the hired bullshit, but even without being sure of history, it seems entirely reasonable to think that every now and then, the energy of a whole generation comes to a head in the long, in the long fine flash, for reasons that nobody really understands at time and which never explain. In retrospect, what actually happened? There was madness in any direction at any hour, if not across the bay, then up the Golden Gate or down 101 to Los Santos or La Handa. You could strike sparks anywhere, and that was a fantastic universal sense that whatever we were doing was right, that we were winning. And that, I think, was the handle, that sense of inevitability, victory over the forces of old and evil, not in any mean or military sense. We, did, we didn't need that. Our energy would simply prevail. There is no point in fighting our side or theirs. We all had the momentum. We were riding the crest of a high and beautiful wave. So now, less than five years later, you can go up on a steep hill in Las Vegas and look west. With the right kind of eyes, you can almost see the high water mark, that place um, where the wave finally broke and rolled back. Hunter S. Thompson. So some quote, and it comes with a book, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. I've heard a ton about that book. And then uh, this is like a, like a kind of like um, DVD collection involving this. I've never heard of this. I'm sure you guys have, and you'll let us know what all that is about, but it sounded very intense. And there's two books, it seems. One for you, one for me, or something like that. I've heard his name thrown around a bunch. Hold on, guys. Yeah. I gotta crack open this, you want more beer? this beer real quick. You can sip this real quick. No, I've got one, but Chris. Yeah, uh, you, you want the top Okay, there's like two more, there's like a couple more things in here. Do you guys guys want to We got any other good questions in the meantime? Um, Andy, how is your Spanish? 
My Spanish is going Un okay. Poquito. Un poquito, for sure. <laughs> Give it a year or so, I will definitely be able to confidently put it on my resume. This is for Andy, the AX Men. What? What? The Axe Man? Is wow. that what it says? Yes, read the, it. I don't need to read it. It's the Axe Man? What does the Axe Man mean? Like, is that like an allegory or something? No, it's like your an axe. Like a guitar is like an axe. I see. Okay, that that is awesome. I'll definitely check this out. It's, it's just like a... A, a yeah, if somebody could send us a dictionary, that would help too. Yeah, a dictionary would definitely help me out, guys. I literally don't know like words like that. You know what I mean? So, this says the Velvet Underground, Andy Warhol. I literally heard his name float around like so much, but he did, like pop art, right? I haven't heard anything like regarding him, but is he the one who did the the Campbell soup can? Mm -hmm. This is yeah. like a, this is like a whole a whole thing. Wow. Hand that to me. You can check this out, babe. Here we go. All right, Chris, this, 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 this is a good comment, actually, right here. A little origin story. How did you two meet? How do you guys know each other? So we met in a Calc 3 class uh, in, in our college at, at uh, USF in Tampa. And so we yep. met in a math class. I didn't like him at first. I thought he was uh, like a smart aleck in the front of the, front of the class. And then I, I answered a lot of questions, maybe too many. Not, not that he answered questions, and then he asked questions. The teacher would be like, oh, this is this thing. And he'd be like, um, but what about this? And there's, there's a lot of what ifs involved. <laughs> but that being said, I started studying with him, and I was like, fuck, this guy knows what he's doing. And so we started studying together, became fast friends. I saw that he had a, a Pink Floyd tattoo. Yep. And so then we started talking music. Turned out he played guitar. We played guitar together. We just kind of develop from there. There's a lot of compounding things. Bottom line is we both agree that if we did not like have each other as study buddies, we definitely would have gotten a B in the class. But together yes. we got an A in the class. Synergy led us to an A. And that's 100% what happened. But that's how we met, 100%. Fair enough. All right. I've been sitting with this fat old package in my lap for a long time. Now, oh my goodness, so many things. I don't know where to start. I'm going to start here. Oh, so a Chicago wow. big old like collection album. Yeah. Looks looks cool. Looks vintage, wow. bro. Vintage. Wow. Vintage, bro. Vintage, bro. She's legit as fuck. Um. <laughs> in case you were uh, running out of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. No, honestly, like we've been swiping our asses with the most random objects. You would not believe. Like they're out of shower. You guys place. actually like this. This is a game changer. There's this one for me. Oh my, God. that's your, that's all you, bro. Listen, me and my family, we'll use this over the next two weeks. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it work. So don't worry about it. Then there is Rust in Rio, uh, Ru sorry, Rust. <laughs> Rust in Rio and Anatomy of a Drum Solo. That we, sounds amazing. We did a video on um, YYZ at Rush in Rio, remember that? Oh, it was, yeah. It was back behind the black background. A while ago, dude. And then there is a letter in here as well as a myriad of records, which we'll go through later. Uh, Andy and Alex. Really enjoy your show. Your song choices are just what I grew up with. I play jazz trombone. I've always wanted to learn how to play wood, uh, so wood trombone. So hold on. What is the difference from jazz trombone and regular trombone? There's three little things, right? How much more can you do if you're playing in jazz with a well, jazz I'm, trombone? Well, I'm sure it's that she played. They play trombone. He or she played trombone and in a jazz context. I feel like yeah, that makes sense. I feel like the difference is if you're playing with a jazz brand, they're changing like keys and like what 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 shapes are playing it all the time. So you kind of have to change with with what they're doing. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Either way, I was I, for a second. I was like, okay, you got three buttons. What is jazz trombone from regular trombone? That makes sense. So I played jazz trombone in college, thus the Chicago final. I started gathering Chicago records in 1977. Chicago was my first concert. Awesome. Also, Andy, please accept these for the library. Also, a couple of goodies from Rush Neil Peart. Uh, Stay in the sauce, J.C. Lauto. Stay in the sauce. That is a great quote, man. And then just a crap ton of, oh, a bunch of Chicago records. Like, pretty much, like, probably every Chicago record, if I had to guess. Pull it out. I, I want to see how thick that is. Holy Whoa. shit. Like, probably. Is all, that all Chicago? Yeah. Probably all Chicago. Probably all, every Chicago record. Wow. Yeah. <gasps> all Chicago. Somebody will be sent us pretty much, like, it looks like their whole Chicago collection Sweet. from when they started listening to them. That's awesome. Like, Thank all, you so, wow, so much. that is crazy. We have so much listening to do. That's the last box. Okay, guys, so this is the last box. Mm. A bunch of filler stuff in here. And they're like, oh my god, we didn't send you filler. Right. Maybe. Oh. Sometimes you kind of just gotta like just open. Okay, so here we got a letter to Andy and Alex from Mike. 
So this is, I saw a message either on Patreon or Instagram somewhere. Last night I read a message that said somebody recorded a personal voice message to us. No basically. Way. Yeah, like on, on a DVD, so we'll have to listen to it. And it's just like some kind of like monologue regarding us, basically. That is so cool. We have Fish. We've been, we've been getting suggestions for Fish. We'll ask you guys, be like, what's a good song to check out by then? But I definitely heard of the, like, the, the, the band Fish, but I've not looked into it at all. We have a Genesis live at Wembley Stadium. Jeez. Mm. Wow. And Genesis has um, Phil Collins before he joined, um, the Lion King. before he did a bunch of Disney shit, basically. And this is, let's see. Somebody said Alex can't read either. Alex can't read either. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, listen, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm, he's material physics, I'm computer yeah. engineering, we can't read. You know, like, we, there will be a point where we all have this common understanding. It's like the con the con <laughs> you can't even read. <laughs> Reading's hard, guys. Fuck the my letters. Like, guys, I, I'm taking a class right now called Communication for Engineers. It's literally about, hey, when you're in the workplace, this is how you talk to people. So, so this is a YouTube live album, Rattle and Hum. That's awesome. Wow, cool. So we, we did you two on Patreon one month, of Wait, Bloody Bloody Sunday. Mikey has a question. He said, if you had to, would you fight a chimpanzee on speed or an elephant on acid? Um, Ooh. Uh, by no. definition, no. Mikey. Listen, Mikey. I love. Listen, Mikey. You're a great guy. I love you so much. But I cannot answer that question on a live feed. <laughs> that that's a fact. I'll answer it. <laughs> elephant for sure. Okay. I've seen what chimpanzees do not on speed, and so I'd rather just you know. That's fair. I'd rather take an elephant on acid. An elephant? Because there's, the el there's a chance the elephant just has a good time. No, dude, dude, I've seen, like, dude, you ever watch Animal Planet? Dude, elephants yeah. will stomp the hell out I'm, of you. Well, I'm just saying there's a possibility of a positive outcome. But listen, I, I've heard of chimpanzees on Animal Planet, like, they said, like, they'll walk up to you, they'll bite your fingers off. Oh, your Whereas face? elephants, they at least stomp yeah. you out, you're done. Right, that's true. So if you're gonna die, I'll take so an again, elephant. Elephant, 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 elephant wins. Still elephant. Regardless of the drug, elephant wins. So the kids are all right, the who? Special DVD edition. Holy Ooh. shit. Dude, we need to get like a shelf. We're just like putting this stuff up for you guys. Well, now we can put up a shelf. Absolutely. And it looks like, oh, dude, it's, more whiskey. it's whiskey, bro. Damn. Yeah, cut away for yourself. With a wait, somebody said, wait, are the animals on the drugs or are you guys on the drugs? Oh my gosh, that'd be way different! Because elephants on acid? That's <laughs> probably alright. No, safe. no, then I'd go speed in the monkey because I think I can take them. I've heard, no, I, <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen, I've heard elements are very spiritual creatures already. So you put an elephant on acid, maybe you guys start talking about like, life. Dude, I feel like you just get stomped out by an elephant yeah, can, dude. That's, you that's fair. Like that. You get stomped out by a colorful <laughs> elephant. <laughs> Dude, this is wrapped up in so much, like, I, I know it's whiskey, but it's like, I wonder if one day we're gonna get, like, vodka, and it's like, why would you sit as a vodka? Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. This is Heaven's Door Double Barrel Whiskey. I've never heard of that, but... I love that it, we're getting stuff I've never heard of. It looks super cool. It looks super cool. And there's one more bottle, and oh, that oh is... Oh my god. And that is it. Oh, so we're gonna go ahead and... Bang. There's something more Here, hand me that. I'll think so? You check this out. I could just be a heavy I think that's box. it, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Careful. I promise you, I'm being as careful as Buzz Andy can be. Oh my gosh, no, there's more here. There's Andy. more? Oh, there is more. Bro! More pistachios! Holy shit. No, it was the same pistachios. It was the same pistachios? You're a piece of crap, man. You know, I love you and shit, but you're a real piece of crap. What's this? That's Bob Dylan's whiskey. Oh, it's Bob, like That's Bob Dylan's, he makes it or it's his favorite? This says, it's Bob Dylan's whiskey brand, so it's his, like, brand. Damn. Yeah. What are we getting sponsored by a whiskey company? The, the dupe winner? Oh, the double winner? Double winner. <laughs> I think, right? Double in, like, Irish whiskey probably? Yeah, yeah, it's Irish whiskey, yeah. Dang. Huh. Wow. If well, you guys, if you guys saw how much shit was on the floor in regard to trash slash valuable items, ridiculous. Jeez. We'll wow. take this over. We'll see if there's any other questions. If not, I think we're getting close to the end of the stream, um, and we'll we'll do this again pretty soon. Uh, well, by pretty soon, I mean probably like in a month. 
And we will definitely have the Wi-Fi situation hooked up where you can see the amazing job we did in Alex's renovated shed. Do you have a turntable? Yes, we both have turntables. We both have record players, yep. When are we going to do another drunk review? Well, we have the capabilities now, so probably soon. Probably Absolutely. soon. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Going to play some online poker, I'll finish you watching you guys later. I think we're about to dip out. How many people are there? Uh, 650. Andy, what did you listen to before YouTube? Before YouTube, pretty much whatever my dad showed me. So like, Dave Matthews Band, a little bit of Tool, Sublime. I listened to like a lot of like Lincoln Park, Hinder, a bunch of like 2000s rock. Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode, Deftones, uh, Typo Negative. We'll do a video talking about music before the yeah. channel, but there, there's, there's a, Evanescence. I actually met Amy Lee when I was like 12. Got to like, you know, take a picture with her. Much shorter than you would think. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll do a video talking about bands at some point. Somebody said... Did you name the shed yet? And somebody else said you're going to need a bigger shed. We have not named the shed yet. Uh, we have some running ideas, but anybody that wants to throw us some ideas, we're down. Uh, the you're shed's pretty big. We'll the do, shed's pretty freaking big. The shed's huge. We we'll, call it the shed. It's pretty big. We'll we'll do like a, a tour video showing you everything in the shed. But it should be on Instagram probably in the next 40 minutes. There, there's a lot in there, basically. Yeah. So... Uh, what's your mailing address? If you go into the video description on any one of our videos, it'll have the P.O. box there. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. How everybody, many of us are watching 650? Yeah. Everybody from behind the scenes, jump in. Yeah, everybody get in. Everyone come in here. Everyone who who helped out, made this happen, because there, there were a lot of technical issues, and we had to make this set happen in this room last second. We even ran out of beer at one point. We, we ran out of beer. We had to get more beer. So everybody yeah, get, get this shot beer. helped out. Yeah, so, hey everybody, uh, thank you so much. We're going to end the stream, uh, and we'll catch you guys next time. We'll see you guys. Bye. See you guys. Cheers. How do you end it? I'm going to like, we'll look super huggy. We'll grab it. I'm hugging you. <laughs>